Happy Friday, everyone. So today we're still going to be talking about cause and effect when we're reading. Um, so like we learned yesterday with cause and effect, the cause explains why something happens and the effect explains what happened. So what took place. All right. So just a review from yesterday as well. These are some of the key words that we can look for when we're reading to help us identify cause and effect. These words are because, so, since, if, then, due to, cause, and therefore. Again, these words are just going to help us identify cause and effects in a story when we're reading. So as we're reading and we're thinking about cause and effect, we want to remember to ask ourselves, well, what happened? Um, what happened was uh, that, or what happened is the effect, okay? Remember, what took place, what happened is the effect. Why did it happen? This is the cause, okay? So why something happened? What caused that action to happen, Okay? So when we're reading stories, good readers use these strategies to help them identify cause and effect. They ask themselves what happened and why it happened. They look for key words as they're reading. So today we're going to practice identifying cause and effect with some paragraphs. And I'm going to model the first paragraph here in this video with you. Um, and it's going to be the same as your classwork practice today. So let's look at this first paragraph to try to identify some cause and effect. So we have to, our directions tell us to read each passage and identify the cause and effect and write a sentence on the lines below. And up at the top, we have our, our person that is reminding us the cause happens first, the effect happens next. I also want to put down that the cause is why. It answers the question why, and the effect answers the question what happened. All right, so let's look at this first paragraph. Number one, Caroline counted her money and smiled. She picked up the phone and dialed her grandma's number. Grandma, can you take me shopping today? I have been shoveling snow for my neighbors all winter just so I could buy mom a purse she saw at the mall when we were shopping one day. I finally earned enough money and mom's birthday is next Tuesday, Caroline explained. Of course I can do that, dear. Should I pick you up at noon? Grandma asked. Okay, so when I'm reading this paragraph, I am wanting to look for causes and effects. Okay, so I'm going to start by looking for the effect. So I want to look for um, what happened, okay, or what can happen. So sometimes we're looking for what could happen um, in the future and not always it happening in the past. So this one, I want to look for what's going to happen, what could happen, okay. So I'm going to go back and reread Caroline counted her money and smiled. She picked up the phone and dialed her grandma's number. Grandma, can you take me shopping today? I have been shoveling snow for my neighbors all winter just so I could buy mom a purse that she saw at the mall when we were shopping one day. I finally earned enough money and mom's birthday is next Tuesday, Caroline explained. Of course I can do that, dear. Should I pick you up at noon? So I'm going to look and see. I saw a keyword and this with this word. So, I know that that's a key word. So, I could buy mom a purse she saw at the mall. Okay, so I'm going to underline this because this is going to be important. So, what is, what is Caroline doing? Well, she, she can buy, she is going to buy her mom a purse that she saw at the mall. So, the effect would be Caroline. Caroline can buy a special birthday gift
for her mom. Okay, because she could, it tells me I could buy a purse, I could buy mom a purse she saw at the mall. So that would be a special gift, a special birthday gift. That purse is going to be that gift. But what caused Caroline to be able to buy this special birthday gift? How is she able to do that? Why is she able to do that? Well, I'm going to go back to my paragraph. I'm going to reread. Caroline counted her money and smiled. She picked up the phone and dialed her grandma's number. Grandma, can you take me shopping today? I have been shoveling snow for my neighbors all winter. I have been shoveling snow for my neighbors all winter. By shoveling snow, she's earning this money um, to buy her mom a spe that special gift, that special be birthday gift. So that's why she is able to buy it. So the cause is... Caroline has been shoveling snow all winter. Okay, and she she snoveled, she shoveled snow in her neighbor's driveways all winter to be able to earn this money for her mom's special birthday gift. So to do cause and effect in these paragraphs like you just saw, sometimes you're going to have to reread a couple times because it might take you a couple times to be able to identify both the cause and the effect. You might not always be able to get it in the first read and that's okay. So what you're going to do is you are going to finish this sheet, so you need to do numbers two through number six for your practice today. Please read carefully, read slowly, take your time. Um, you need to identify the cause and the effect. And after that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a wonderful weekend.